Hey Can Do It, it's Rick's here and in this video we're going to do a artist critique. Uh, this is the original and this is the drawing and it was posted up on my uh, Realistic Drawing Facebook group. So why don't we get right into the critique. Now, the goal of our particular group is photorealism or even hyperrealism. And that is that our drawing, we try to achieve as close as we can to the photograph. And so this is basically what our drawing should look like should look like our reference. Now, of course, we have a background here with, you know, looks like uh, maybe some kind of a pillow or couch or something. And then there's this blanket, I think, that's on the dog. And here the artist has chosen to remove that, and that is fine. Nothing wrong with that. The subject, however, in this case, the dog, okay, you want to try to get your drawing to look like that. Now when you look at this drawing, anybody who was to see this drawing would say, wow, that is a really nice drawing of a dog. And it is. It is a very nice drawing of a dog. But is it realistic? Could you look at this and say, oh, that's a photo? Well, no. Uh, and nothing wrong with that unless that's your goal. And in our group, that's our goal. So. Going by that, as I critique the drawing, I don't want to imply in any way that this drawing is not good. It, and this, it's a very fine line for someone when they're critiquing a drawing that, you know, that you, you're not saying, hey, this person has no talent because obviously this person's very talented, but rather does it meet a certain goal that you're going for? What I want to focus on here is how to achieve uh, realism when dealing with hair and fur, for example. So let me just draw your attention down here. Okay, so let's just take a look at this part right here of this dog's hair. Take a look at the, the original, okay? And then take a look at the drawing. Now, do they look alike? I think the answer is pretty obviously, obviously no. They do not look alike. And so right off, when a person is trying to draw realistically, they need to ask themselves that question. Does, does it look like the original? Okay, as you are playing the human copy machine. And so here, for example, in the drawing, if you look real closely, you have all these white hairs that really stand out. Okay. You take your little eraser, maybe it's a Mono Zero, or maybe it's the little trick that I use with tape, okay? However it is, okay, we have a lot of white hairs. But is that what we're seeing here? No, we're not. What we're seeing is a variation in shades, all right? Tones and shades. You see mid-tones, you see highlights, okay, you see it start going back into mid-tones, you see darks. And this is how you want to draw. You don't want to be looking to draw hair. You want to draw shades and tones. So if I was to, now this here is regular copy paper that I printed these out 
on my laser and if I draw on this I'm not sure that I'm going to get you know what what I'm hoping for but we're gonna give it a, a give it a shot now I'm gonna to try to use this dark pencil here and this one here is well it's called Marie's I think it's some kind of a charcoal pencil of some sort I would imagine but I'm gonna to try to get as much tones and shades going on uh, with this uh, paper because it, it's really not meant for this okay and I can't erase anything but that's okay but let me show you what I'm trying to talk about you see this area right here this dark area okay it's not that difficult to come in and actually put that tone in and notice that I'm going to end up going over a lot of this white hairs because that's not even here so this shouldn't shouldn't be like this if you don't have that here see that that's not using the reference to to create um, a photorealistic drawing so I'm going to mop that out and I'm looking at the shape so I'm going to try to achieve the same shape of that dark area. I don't care about those white hairs right now. I just want to get the shape of that dark zone. Okay, so just get in there. Like I'm able to get this whatever kind of pencil this is down on here which was taking a sh chance see there's white hairs going up there, there's no white hairs going up over here see all that down here does not exist all right now, this doesn't look like anything yet so Stay with me throughout the video. looking at the original you want to visualize the shape boop, 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 like this see get that shape in there and that's what I'm attempting to do here and then it stops about right here because there's some kind of I'm not sure what that's supposed to be that might be dangling from a collar or something I imagine but that's in there so you you know, if she's trying to take it out, it looks like here. Anyway, so you have that, whatever that is, is here. And then the dark part would just stop really lightly here. And then all this should be lighter because it's lighter here. Okay, so I can't, I don't believe I can get that lighter because it's, it's a laser print. Let me see. That's not going to come off. Nah, so I could race to my heart's content there. Let me see if I can do this. Get that toner off the paper? No, you can't do it. All right. How about if I use a gel pen to simulate the? Yes. Okay. So I use this to kind of simulate. It's a lot brighter than the actual uh, original, but I need to get this area light. Okay. Because I can't erase it. All right, so there you go. All right, little dark area right there. Kind of leave that little dark area right there. All right. Okay. So there you go. Something like that. All right. Now, the white hairs themselves. 
you don't want to have white hairs like this, you know, these lines. Okay, what you want to do here is you want to see the tone. So like, for example, right in this area here, let me get that pen again, right in this area here is a bright highlight. So you get that bright highlight in there, which, you know, I can't erase this again. This is it's always difficult when I'm doing these uh, um, critiques that I can't actually go over the actual drawing itself to uh, make a more significant uh, demonstration, but uh, I, I'm roughing it. Look at the size of the foot, by the way, right here. Look at the size of this foot. And then look at the size of the foot here. See, it's just a skinny little foot, but it's really fat down here. Okay, so all that needs to be taken into consideration. It should not be that big. See if I can thin it down here. Comes in something like that. And it goes out like this. We zone that all out. These hairs don't belong down here. Okay. I'm just roughing this, by the way, folks. I'm not going to get real detailed here. Okay. Then again, you've got all this area here. It's a darker tone. Comes across like so. There's a little dark tone here. And if you look at this whole thing right here, this is all in shade. This is all in light. So from here to here should be under shade. So I'm going to try to shade, put it into shade, by just lightly going over with this pencil. Hairs actually darker. Okay, and you have this comes out like this, and then this is all a little bit dark here, and you have it dark here. Okay, and then this is all this dark shade. Okay. Alright, so right here, right there, okay, so it look, will look more like that, alright, and you'll start to see that this whole thing should be in shade here. This is all dark area here. And it comes down to around here. Now obviously I'm not going to turn her drawing into a photorealistic drawing because again this is a printout. But I want to just discuss a lesson here about lighting and shades and so forth. Okay, now one of the things you do to get the right highlights and everything, for example, is let's say that you want this area right here. Notice that it's very bright here but it's shaded down here. Okay, so 
using some of this dark pencil, for example, might come in here and tone that down. Okay. Put some more in here. And tone it down. Get some more material on here. I'm going to go directly on it, get me some more of this material. Then I can show what I'm talking about. Okay, now if you'll notice, for example, let me go ahead and just do all this here for to get to expedite this. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so now that I got this all toned down, all right, you got more contrast and everything. Now you come in with your erasers or whatever you are going to use for lighting up and start lightening up these areas that are lighter in tone. So if I have enough material there, I might be able to bring that out. Let me see. Okay. You don't want it pure white, but you want it lighter. And I just want to lighten the areas. I'm not drawing any hairs whatsoever. I'm drawing tones, shades, contrasting, Okay, this whole area here has these tones that are lighter. Okay, and it just just blends off like this. And goes like this. These are not hairs, all right? These are just bright areas and all you want to do is go in there and brighten the area now unfortunately I can't remove any material from what she's already got on here because of the laser this whole thing here if it's lighter okay that there needs to be thinner. All right. So this area right here, for example, I made it darker than here. So you just lighten it. It's all a matter of light. Matter of fact, I'll lighten it using that eraser there, the needed eraser. That this is a printout. I can't do much with a printout, but Just come in here and lighten that area up. Let's try a different kind of eraser here. Yeah, see, I can't do much with that. <laughs> but I hope that what I'm trying to demonstrate comes through. No, you don't want hairs in here. You want tones put down a base like for example here I shaved off the hairs and, and coated it all dark now you know you can just go through and you can extend it into the dark area to provide the detail that you need and this will give the impression that you have hairs I can't Again, I can't erase this. I'm going to use paint. This is kind of paint, but it's so bright that I you might get lost in translation here. Okay, come on, paint. You can come out. Okay, I'm going to do shapes. It's a shape there. It's a shape there. Okay. Shape down there. 
here. Got this shape here. We don't want hairs, okay? We don't want you going like this. All these lines. You want to draw shades and tones and then put in the details afterwards. These little stray hairs. Now I'm not going to do all of these, but then let, I hope that's dry. Once that's dry, I'm going to tone it down a little bit because it's too bright. See what happens if I can tone it down. There we go. Okay. La la la. Okay, there you go. All right. So you can do that. Now, another thing, look. See the side of this face here? It's just as bright as this side, but here, this is really bright. This is all shaded. This whole area is shaded. So you should shade that whole area. And I'm borrowing stuff from here. Okay. Now the, the other thing too that I can see, since I'm on the subject here, let me tone that down some more. We really need to tone this area down a lot, okay. Alright, so the other thing I can see right off is that um, you have, see this eye? Look how bright that eye is, all these things. But you don't see that over here, okay? So there's a lot here that shouldn't even be here. So let's dim that down. Okay, this one's much smaller. Let's get that reflection way smaller than that. All right. Uh, this here is definitely got to be toned down. This has got to be toned down. Okay, this whole area needs to be toned down. See if I can blend with my finger there again. Over here, this doesn't belong here either. Okay. So, you have something like this. Okay, this, this doesn't go here. Okay. It's too long, too bright, too bright. Then you can come in after you've done that. Then you come in and you bring out your your highlights. All right, you got one here. It's not really a highlight so much, but I'm going to bring that in and then I'm going to dim it down a little bit. Okay, over here. All right, all this area here needs to be lighter. Too much shade going on here. Just want to get this lighter. And how I would have done this is I would have put a dark base tone here and then taken it out with an eraser and to uh, blend it into bright areas, okay, and not have so many defined hairs. There's too many, too many hairs where it should just be areas, not hairs, but areas. Okay, and this is a gel pen, by the way, so this here is not really a good representative, but, oh, and it wipes off when I do that, so I can't really blend with it. Okay. But you have, let's see, what else do I got to do with the eye here? Uh, there's a little, 
little something there. And then it needs to be toned down. So I'll let it dry for a second. Okay, I'm going to take some material off of here. And I'm just going to tone it down. There we go. And here, I'm going to tone it down. Voila. Okay. All right. So there's the one eye. Now, the other eye has another problem too. Big old railroad tracks, whatever that thing is there. Uh, the proportion of the eye is not correct either. There's a little bit of difference in the proportions, but I can't deal with that right now. But what I can deal with is this part here needs to be shaded. Okay, all this is too bright. Shade that all down. Or better yet, since it's such a solid black, just go solid black. Okay, so same, same technique. You go in here and you put down your whatever your main color is or tone I should say so we'll put that in there like so All right. then and only then you start lightening the areas up and I'm going to use a gel pen again okay and you got over here okay and here alright uh, this area here needs to be dark. Comes down to here, like so. Alright. And this is all dark here. There's no white hairs going in there. Get rid of that white hairs there. Okay, this is all solid. All the way around, like so. Okay up here all right now after you have that kind of white in here it's like a little partial moon shape all right oh and then there's a little bit of something something right there just lighter and I'm going to definitely take that out as soon as it dries See if I got any more material here. Okay, that's good. And that part there, and a little dimming of that right there. And that is not too shabby. This is a little more curved. Let me get that curve in there. Okay. And we'll just leave it at that. All right. So that is our eye. Okay. And there you go. All right. Now the rest, of course, I can't. I can't change any of this. This all needs to be brighter here. See all this area here. The tone. See, I, I make short videos really long because I just can't stop making changes to things. But this area right here is it's getting light. You got all this light hitting it. You need to have that in there. I'm trying to get it in there with this pin, which is funky cold Medina all by itself. But all right. Anywho. Oh, one other thing. Look at these ears. See these two ears are the same tone? Come over here. That's really, really light. This is really, really dark. See that? Look how dark that is. Look how light that is. And then come over here and look at they're They're really the same. See, there's no light here, dark here. This whole thing needs to be dark. Dark, dark, dark. Get on there, pencil.
Yep, there goes that. Alright. Alright, there we go. And I lost half my pencil somewhere. Here we go. Yeah, I broke my uh broke my pencil. I hope you guys appreciate that. <laughs> Alright. So there's a lot of glare on the camera because this is just a printout. And so it's kind of hard to tell the difference. <clears throat> Or see the same thing, I guess. <clears throat> but you, you get that, you get it like this, you know, where you you start doing tones and you start seeing a big difference between uh, you know the original and the um, the drawing. You get it more and more looking the same. Now, you know, sure, I can get it to look like the original, but I'd have to start on a clean drawing paper, uh, where or I need to have the artist's original drawing paper so I can at least erase things and things. But not too bad. Look at that. So we're pretty close. There's still a lot more here. I could take a lot more time, but the bottom lesson is, you know, don't be drawing like single hairs and stuff, go for tones, okay? Everything's got to be tones. So if you look at this, it's shaded. It's lit here. It needs to be shaded and lit. So the nose, for example, look at the nose. All this shaded all the way up here. Okay, all this. And, and it's remarkable just how much your drawing and the contrast and everything and the realism improves just by mastering the understanding of light, okay? Here you have bright light, <clears throat> here you don't. I don't think I can erase that area, can I? Well, a little bit, so let me get that. Okay, but you make it look like that, all right? So it has to be Dark, all oh, dark, dark. Okay, the hair, down here, more hair. Okay, the hairs. This whole area here. Okay. This is all lit. This whole area is lit. This only does fine lines. I wish it was a broad stroke. But it's only just fine lines. So I'm not trying to draw lines. That's just all this thing will do. Which is kind of a drag. But this whole thing needs to be lit up. This whole side needs to be well, well lit. And you just can't, you can't get that. I wonder if I lick it and... I can take anything off that way. <clears throat> so you don't have the straight line or anything. Wow, this is a shame. I was really hoping that that chalk would have worked, but it doesn't. But you would not be drawing hairs like I am now because you would, you would do everything by putting a blend and then taking it out Okay, and getting the tones in there. Ah, it's not doing anything. It's not even writing on there. It's terrible. All right, anyway, there you go. Okay, hope you can see the, the different changes. You know what I'll do um, is I'll, I'll put the original right here next to it. 
so that you can see how it it changed but that's it folks I'm gonna go ahead and stop here I can get really carried away but I don't have any control over this unfortunately um, other than what I was able to do and you know get stuff all over my fingers and stuff hope you like this video if so give me a thumbs up please subscribe if you haven't done so already click the notification bell so that you'll be informed of my upcoming videos and I'll see you in the next video thanks for watching